Hey, what's up, day walkers and fellow travelers tonight? I think I had to move the camera back a little bit on this one because this box that we got from Upper Deck holds something really awesome. And what's in the box? Well, it's an awesome pack of cards, a blaster box, if you will, of Marvel Masterpiece XL. 2024, this is a remake of the 2016 Joe Jusco series that was Marvel Masterpiece that featured a lot of amazing artwork. And there's base cards, there's orange parallels, epic purple canvases, spectrums that feature battles with the uh, you know, main characters and their arch nemesis. And then we also got hollow foils, mirage cards, what if cards. There's a lot going on in here, but what there isn't a lot of is cards in this box. This features two packs and each pack only has three cards. And why is that? Well, it's because they're extra large. They're five by seven. So we got a couple of five by seven sleeves and top loaders to help us out with today's episode. So let's go ahead and crack this open and check out what awesome cards are inside. These blaster boxes run $40 on the Upper Deck website. We only decided to get one of these. And the reason being is because I just wanted to unbox it and show it off to the channel because Blue has taken it upon himself to get in on the character breaks with various YouTubers. So if you check out North of Seven Cards, or if you check out some people on Whatnot, Blue has been going over there and bidding on some of these cards just so we can get the characters that we or he wants. Uh, but I figured for me at least, I wanted to make at least one video where I show off the product in this format. So we wanna open this up and check it out. And a lot of <laughs> empty space in here. We just got the two packs, which like I said, look how big these are. These are standard cards behind them, the autographed Moon Knight cards. And look how big they are compared to them. I mean, these things are awesome. The artwork on them is amazing. Joe Jesco is a legendary artist. I heard some controversies, maybe that Joe Jesco wasn't involved in this. Maybe he's not getting, you know, some kind of compensation. I hope that's not the case. I hope that, you know, Upper Deck is doing right by him. Even though they're reusing art that they've already paid for, they are re-releasing it in a new way, in a new format, and something that you can really, like, sink your teeth into and, and really appreciate even more. Uh, just like when Marvel puts out a trade paperback and then they go to Treasury Edition, I feel like those artists and people still get paid. So hopefully Joe still got something for this. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys have heard anything because I'm big on artists getting paid, especially if they've done something before and it's getting reused, whatever it is, gets reprinted. To me, it still counts. I'm from the comic book world, so I feel like something should happen. doesn't always, uh, but I feel like it should. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open our first pack. And like I said, I have the camera back a little bit so we can show off just how amazing these cards are. And every pack features three cards. One of them will be a base card. One of them will probably be a what if parallel. So the first card in the pack will most likely be a what if parallel. And then your hit will be in the middle. Now they say that there's a special black variant foil in these for the, uh, you know, for some of the canvas cards. But from what I've seen online, that doesn't seem to be the case. So. Let's go ahead and start with a Spidey hit. Holy awesome. Check out this amazing fantasy what if cover. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Introducing Spider-Man. And Joe Jusko, it says 2013. That's when he painted a lot of these original cards way back when, 2013 and 14. I think maybe even some in 2015. And they made it into the set in 2016. So to get this what if featuring the first appearance of Spider-Man... That's awesome, because I think this is like a, um, a higher level card. I think cards from like 90 to 100 are called level 5 cards, something like that. Blue knows more about it than I do. I'm still learning a little bit. He's been following this series for about a week or two now and uh, has learned a lot more than I have. So just to see this, though, is awesome. And I'm going to sleeve every single card we get. <laughs> I'm just so jazzed about holding artwork for a trading card at this scale. I mean, this is almost comic book digest size. Almost a little bit, maybe smaller, but it's it's fantastic to see something on this level. I just hope I can show off just how beautiful it really is. I mean, seeing them in person is just great. So to get that, that's a great first card in our first pack. And look at that. Our second card is a canvas. Dude, that is a Thanos canvas right there. That is great. Yeah, there you go. Look, 2015 for Joe there. That's a close-up of the Mad Titan himself. That's beautiful. I love the matte finish on that. The canvas cards are really cool looking. I can't tell if this is a regular canvas or if this was supposed to be 
one of those black foils. I have no idea. It has a black strip down here, but I don't have another canvas to compare it to, so I don't really know. So if you know in the comments, let me know down below. But uh, wow, that's just really gorgeous. <laughs> His teeth, man, he's uh, he's getting up there. Those teeth have seen some stuff. A lot of uh, There's a lot of war stories in those teeth right there. Uh, but that's just to get that as a canvas is beautiful. And I'm probably going to top load this one. I'll probably top load all of these at the end. But for now, at least, just to keep the canvas safe, let's go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. Look at that. These top loaders are perfect. I'm glad we picked up a 10-pack of these. So I'm glad we got them now. Because <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, I know we're only getting six cards. But oh my goodness, look at this pack. I think this is another... Level five, this is Wolverine. We got Wolverine, Thanos, and Spider-Man all in one pack. That is great. First appearance, 181 of Hulk, James Howlett. Look at that with the Sentinel remains in the background. Dude, this is epic, man. Like we, wow, what a first pack. Uh, I was sitting there thinking like, well, whoever we get, we're going to be happy with because the art's amazing. But for us to nail those three characters on the first pack, is just awesome and we are mainly just doing character collections for this so we're going after the monsters we're going after frankenstein werewolf by night uh, moon knight it's kind of like blue wanted to do the universal monsters marvel edition so moon knight for the mummy man thing for the you know creature from the black lagoon frankenstein's monster for frankenstein monster a blade for dracula and he also wanted us to have werewolf by night for the werewolf position so yeah i mean so any of these characters that you see, and if you're trying to collect these or you want to trade or anything, hit us up, man, for sure. Like, uh, that's awesome. You know, or if you want to buy them, whatever. We'll put them on our eBay store, too, if people are interested in that. But, man, to get those three in the first pack, I'm nervous about this pack now. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's see who we get. And like I said, we only ordered one of these. I only had the money, really, to do one. So uh, I know Blue is doing some of his... Uh, you know, like on online on the on eBay and stuff, he's bidding on some of these. So I know he's having some fun with that and supporting other creators, which is awesome. Um, and I thought that was a good idea of his. He was like, you know what? I want to support other people in this community by going to their stream and trying to bid on some of these characters that we want instead of just buying the packs and, and not getting what we want. So I thought that was cool and it helps support other creators out there. So I'm very, I'm all for it, Blue. <laughs> and check this out. Look at that. Kitty Pride with the What If. That is awesome. Save us from the Knights of Hellfire. You got Lockheed in the background. That's a really great image. Awesome. Another what if. Catherine Ann Pride. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and sleeve that because obviously I'm already having butterfingers and dropping stuff. So I don't want to continue to damage anything or risk damaging anything. Especially if people out there are trying to collect these and they want one of these cards. I want to keep them in the best condition as possible. So we got Kitty. Oh, look at this. Gore, the God Butcher. Hey, Symbiote fans, check this out. He's got Thor's helmet. That's awesome. What is this, like a gold? It's got gold foil around it. Oh, it's a numbered one. 360 out of 199 Oh, no, I'm sorry. 360 out of 1999 Excuse me. So there's just under 2,000 of these gold ones in existence. And we got one, and we got number 360. How awesome. Full circle, right? Um, right back to the Venom show. <laughs> so we got a character here that actually ties into Thor lore and Venom lore. Uh, so yeah, Gore the God Butcher. And he was also played by Christian Bale in Thor Love and Thunder. So yeah, awesome. That's a cool card. I really dig that. It looks great. Oh, and check this out. Our last one is a Spidey villain. So that's really cool. We got a Thor villain and, and Thanos in the first pack. Um, and then we got a Wolverine and Kitty Pride. Now we got Spider-Man, who's on this card, too, and Mysterio. This is an awesome box. We really got lucky with this. Quentin Beck, Mysterio. That is a great card with the carnival and everything and the planets, like, and the movie, like, lights and stuff. Like, that's, oh, that's so awesome. Joe really killed it with this series. I've been looking up at least a couple of the cards online um, to see what they looked like, the 2016 ones. But to have them, like I haven't seen all of the cards, only a couple. But to see them at this scale is just epic. So I just got to show these off one last time so you guys know what you can kind of expect. Although I feel like we did really, really well in this pack, uh, this blaster box. We got Mysterio in pack two, Gore the God Butcher, a numbered card in pack two. 
And we got the what if variant of Kitty Pride here in pack two. Then in pack one, we got Wolverine with the Sentinel background. That's so rad. We got a Thanos canvas. And we got a Spider-Man what if with the amazing fantasy lettering. No monsters in this one, but come on. How can we be upset with these characters? And we can pair them all up too for the most part. Like we got Spidey and Mysterio there. We got Kitty Pride and Wolverine here. And then we got two very powerful villains as our hits. Again, no complaints here. Anyone who might be interested in these, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to probably put them up on our eBay store. Uh, but we're also willing to trade, so hit us up quickly. I'll you know post this video, and then like a day or two later, we'll probably you know hand them over to Blue to try to sell them. But for now, though, I just wanted to show them off. Um, I don't know the values of these, so I'll try to add them in the edit. So that way we can see if we made our $40 back. I had a friend of mine recommend that to us recently. And I thought that was a good idea because I know Magic the Gathering, there's people who open Magic the Gathering cards and do that. So if you want to see the values of some of these cards, or at least what they're average selling for, then I'll put that, you know, I'll have that in the edit so you can kind of see. But I'm going to guess we got, even if these cards were, you know, five bucks a piece, which I'm sure there are, some of them are a little bit more than that, then I would say we got $30 back out of the 40 we paid. But I'm going to guess that the canvas might be something to someone, but these two cards here, I think they're level fives possibly. Let me know if maybe I'm wrong, but these are still really great characters to get. These could be 10 or $12 cards or $15 cards each for all I know. So yeah, I think we made our $40 back for sure. So this was a good investment if you're doing it for that reason, but I just wanted to show off these cards and just show how amazing this stuff is, pun intended, and to get your thoughts. So let me know what you think down below and we'll keep talking as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.